Hi everyone, welcome back to more Blood Bowl 2. I'm Disturbing Puppet. This is my halfling team, the Filthy Hobbitses. So uh, Gollum is, of course, their coach, so I guess that makes me Gollum. Um, so yeah, we've got the full roster of halflings. We've got our two tree men. That's kind of the maximum we can have. Uh, anybody out for the game? Nope, everyone is back. Unfortunately, Pervance here is uh, kind of injured, so has a permanent injury where he's going to get an additional plus Spike one to injury magazine. rolls. That adds the Stunty, I'm assuming. And fans so unfortunately, be. having sure feet, he's much more likely to die if we send him out there. Uh, we do have Diving Tackle on Sancho. We picked up Block on Odo. And we have Pass on Mr. Creepy Smile. So uh, I didn't realize Stunty affected your passing skill until last game. So unfortunately, the pass choice is probably not that great. But we can still try to make some use of it as we progress forward. Playing Undead. So we had uh, Dwarves, then Chaos Dwarves. Then we had a Break the Kiss of Circus. Then we had Necromantic, now we have Undead. So we had basically two Dwarf teams in a row, a bit of a break, now two Undead teams in a row. Um, here, interesting choice, I noticed the Mummy got an Agility bonus. Uh, Alright, sure, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess that's an option. And then this Ghoul here has Jump Up. Okay. Three Ghouls, we do have Diving Tackle on one of our guys. Um, there's a big value difference here so the undead are going to get a bunch of extra cash to do stuff with it's not going to be great right here my fists. okay hack i'm pretty up. sure is the chainsaw goblin uh ollie i'm not sure could be some kind of mummy i don't know bloodweiser babes i think affects my your knockout and your phone is switched off it's match time and nothing can come in the way of a head coach and his blood bowl well, we are a halfling team, so who knows, you know. It's kind of one of those things where the the teams really aren't that balanced. And that's fine. Like, this is based on the board game. It's it's basically the exact same version of the board game. So some of the teams, like, yeah, you play them more for fun. Halflings, goblins. You're not really playing them that seriously, but we are doing okay. I'm trying to do my best as we go through here. Playing against the Dark Swarm. Got any thoughts on the coming game, Bob? Chainsaw Goblin. I have a hint on anything else that might be out here. Okay, it is a star player skeleton. It's like he only has one eye hole, which is interesting. It's my little chubby dudes. And what I swear are hobbit leg sausages, or uh, cuts. Oh, we have the choice again. Like, if I go first, I can sort of mitigate damage and get some hits in first. Um, but I like getting the ball in the second half, so I guess we will kick the ball away and just Bubble. see what we can do. Don't go near mummies. They hurt. <laughs> That's actually good advice. Don't go near mummies, they hurt. Uh, we actually are stronger than the mummies. So, Ollie. Three strength, two agility. Counts as a secret weapon. Regenerates, of course. Sidestep. Stab could be dangerous. Loner. Block. Jump up. And pass block. Okay. Uh, make sure we have... Yeah, my tree man will block on him. That's fine. Don't want you there have a bunch of extra guys, but that's because they're going to get hurt. Large carrot, we want in. Odo, we want in. Sancho, we want in. Large carrot's pretty close to being able to level up, so that's kind of why. I want my quarterback out because we're kicking the ball away. That's fine. Okay. So, unfortunately, since everyone looks alike, it's a little difficult to sort of get Everyone where we want. We're kicking, so we are setting up first. Uh, I do want Sancho, wherever he was, out on a flank, because we can kind of deal with the uh, ghouls that way a little bit. I kind of need to keep my guys together. Uh, I think I'm going to have Pervance. Like, I could hold him back, but I think we'll go deep with him. We can move around a little bit better. Like, if I keep him as my 
deep back. That's probably for the best, because he can move a little faster and try to keep him a little safer. Carrot. Okay, undead are fairly slow. Yeah, let's move up a little bit more. But I don't want to be on the front line as much so we can avoid getting beaten. They're going to try to beat me up quite a bit. I've got a lot of guys deployed pretty far up. It's got a mummy back, which is interesting. A mummy in a white. Okay. They're getting up close and personal. Need to be close. He's got all the ghouls on. We probably want to try to kill the ghouls. If I can hurt the ghouls, then we have a decent chance of stopping him from being able to handle the ball much. Although the whites are pretty good at it as well. And he's got the star player too. Chainsaw Goblin is not going to be super happy for me either. Okay, failed with the stab, good. Goals running back for the ball. Got it. White is going right into the center. I really need guard on my tree men up front, that would help me a lot. That is just a push. Okay. What do we want to do? Well... Let's swarm this ghoul. As a start. Throw some shots at the tree men. So I do have block here. We could go for the star player or the white. I feel like the star player is more valuable to get rid of. He does have block though. Yep, take him down. It'd be nice if we can just stop him. I'm gonna stay put. Take him out with an injury or a knockout or something. Hey, at least off the board. No more stabs. Okay, and then we can throw a shot. I think we'll just throw a shot here at the zombie, though. And I am going to stay put. Try to smack the ghoul around a little bit. Not a great result. Let's try a reroll. Okay, I'll knock you next to the tree man and I'll follow up so we have an even die block for the bottom. Okay, well, we could try doing some sneaking around through the enemy line. I have an even die block here. I've got an even die block here. We both have block. I have used a reroll though. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. This is gonna be enough to come out on top. Just a shove. Let's push him across. Retake the front line there. I kind of need two people to go after a ghoul. So you, no, who has? Okay, Sancho's back here. So we really want him covering ghouls, preferably. That would be the ideal thing to do. I could move around and get an even block on the Chainsaw Goblin. Uh, we definitely don't want to be next to the Chainsaw Goblin, so I might want to just move away. Get multiple even blocks here if I want to. It's a little risky. Let's try it here. Unity is strength. Well, so much for that. Oh, and he got knocked out. Poor carrot. Hey, I might have to start paying attention. Trying to do some uh, hitting before we started doing some sneaking around. Okay, he's going for the side. I've got Sancho on. Fortunately, he's got some assistance over there. The 
Mummy is going to come in and try to hit my halfling. That's, That's not nice. I know. That weedy fellow's going to get splattered. <laughs> okay, amazingly, we only got stunned. It's going to take out Purvis, unfortunately. Ah! Rang his bell awfully quick. It's a problem. Undead. Very good at beating stuff up. Okay, we'll turn over there. Okay. So what I need to do... You're just going to stand. I could get a hit on the ball carrier. Um, we could also just kind of have Sancho hang out next to him, because he'd have to dodge away, and then we can immediately trip him up. I should probably do important things first. But three dice on yeah, one of your important ghouls is pretty important. I'm going to stay where I'm at. We're just going to knock him away. Maybe get an injury? No. Okay, I've got a bunch of guys here on my tree men. I'm not super happy about that. But we've got paths in at the ball carrier. Um, we could swarm him and actually get two dice on him. Do I want to get the assists? Yeah, I suppose that is the safest way. It's just a one in six we fail this. They'll need to get rid of the ball now there's pressure on them. I'd really like somebody else to cover this gap here. I'm like, if we just push him, I'm a little concerned. But let's see what we can do with a blitz and hit on the ball carrier. Be a sack. <laughs> I love it with that. Gonna have Sancho be the one to actually throw the shot. Put some pressure on the ball carrier. Move quicker. Two dice, no skills affecting it. Um, he does have dodge. I'm going to re-roll it, because it's fairly important. Okay, nice. And I'm going to stay put in case I want to dodge away, depending on where the ball goes, because it might end up off the field to get thrown back in. Yep. Okay, it is way deep. I'll have to go for it and dodge here. I'm still going to try. Okay. Go for it. All right. I don't have anybody fast to go after it. Uh, I think we just want to sneak through here and get away. It's probably our best option. So it's fairly important if we can take out the white, because he could maybe go after the ball. Just get a push. I'm just going to shove him next to the other tree man. And I'll stay put, I guess. Let's try to get out of this mess. I did use my dodge already. Okay, we make that. Not gonna push it anymore. Let's just try to get out of here. We've got stunty, so there's no effect for multiple attack zones or anything. Do that. Play it safe. Just have some guys sort of running in the general direction of the ball. I've got nobody deep in case things go wrong, but I don't think anybody can really make it. Yeah, he can't even make it if he wanted to go for it twice. Ghoul on the edge there. I don't know if that one's got jump up. Chainsaw Goblin's going to cause me some problems. He didn't blitz with them, though, which is probably what he should have done. Just keep trying to get away from them. Probably going to go for a hit on one of my tree men there, because I have an even die block. That's a really bad place to stand up. Blitzing him. Interesting choice. Has an assist. 
Does take me down, unfortunate. No problem. Just a push. Okay. So, first things first, we're going to move up. We're going to try to shove the ghoul off the board. You're going to stand up and just kind of stay there. You will stand up and try to get away. Uh, we could just hang out next to the ball and pick it up later. Sancho's pretty good at covering someone who's agile, so we could move in on the ghoul here if we want to go for it. Let's try for that. Okay. I'm not sure if I want to go for the ball. Um, I think I'm just going to hang out next to the ball here for a turn. To secure the Hope ball. for the best. Alright, let's try to shove... Now nah, it's only an even single die. We could move through. And come help out. Feels a bit risky, so I'm waiting to see. I'm going to do this one at a time. Once I use dodge, I can only use dodge once per turn. Okay, so we're good there. So you just shove him out. Two dice, we just need to push. Bye-bye. Stay put. Got an injury? Nice. Not sure if we did that or the uh, fans did that. Okay, you don't have anything special. I've got block and you don't, so let's try for this. Okay, I'm just down you right there. Got a two die block on the white, but if I screw it up, the white's free to go cause some trouble. So uh, let's just try to get out of here if we can. Okay, I did have to use my dodge roll. And since I haven't used a reroll, let's go ahead and just get a couple tackle zones on the ball if we can. Okay, everything's fairly safe. I do have a reroll still, I think. So let's go ahead and go for the white, I suppose. I probably shouldn't. Oh, take him down, nice. There's always room in sport for a scrap like this. And I will follow that up. Sometime. No damage though. Okay, the chainsaw goblin is still free on the edge. So that's kind of a dangerous blitzer there. Treeman are doing pretty good. He's actually just going to cover him. That's interesting. He's kind of got to deal with my halflings because if I can pick up the ball, I can score. And I might just do that immediately. We might just run in and score. Uh, if we can pick the ball up anyway. He's not blitzing with the Chainsaw Goblin. That's a very odd choice. This is just going, going for decisive. a hit. Just a push. Excellent. Yeah, if we can get dodge and block on all my guys, that would be awesome. But we've got to roll doubles to give anybody block. Yeah, I think we just go for the score here. Um, if you score, you'll get a level up. So let's go ahead and try to pick up the ball. All right, let's just run it in. I'm not going to mess with anything. Just score. Bungo, Harry Twinkletoe scores for us first. I think the green colors look good on our players, but it looks really awful on the cheerleaders. 
to take out a ghoul, so that's nice. Star player stays knocked out. Nice. Our knocked out guys come back. All right, good deal. We'll be kicking the ball away again. Oh, Ali Babad is gone. Hack is gone. Nice. Despite being in the lead, this team now has to kick the ball. So that's going to help a lot. They'll want to get it back as soon as they can. Get things set the way it was before, I think. Yeah, we've got Sancho out there. Long on the pitch, but it's so good while it's there. I think we'll swap out boy. You've done a good Twinkle job. Toes for somebody well, else. Does anyone else have a decent amount of star player points? Yeah, Fosco. Swap you for Fosco. See so if we can get Fosco to score. It would also be nice if we get a level up there. Yep, we're good to go. Again, we'll just kind of aim for the center. We have a one-eyed halfway kicking the ball. Randomly selected players are stunned. Two of mine. Is it only one of the opponent? Looks like only one of the opponents. A white, though, which is fairly nice. Ball's quite deep. So, pretty good kick for us. Ghoul's probably going to run back to go for the ball. Yeah, he's going to have to go for it twice. See if he can screw something up here. It'd be nice. Nope. Made all those rolls with no problem. Got a blitz coming in. That is going to level me. Nice to block. Rang his bell. KO'd. So much for Fosco. <laughs> Mummy taking out Odo, unfortunately. Injury. Badly hurt, we can live with, it's fine. deep now. So we'll gang up on him. We'll try to take him out. We'll have Sancho kind of run down the field. Try to stop the other ghoul here too, if possible. I do have a tree man with block, which gives me a bit of an advantage. Let's go for the shot here first. Okay. And you just run down the field. I can't get that close to the ghoul though, unfortunately. A little stubby legs prevent us from running very far. Do I want to go for it is the question to get closer. I don't want to overcommit because we aren't that fast, so I just will hang out here. We have the advantage because I have block and he doesn't on either one of these guys. Let's see if I can hit this other mummy. Just get a push. See if stand firm? I don't think he does. I'm just going to stay put though. Mummies are pretty slow. Of course, tree men are as well. Alright, we go for a risky shot on the ghoul here since we still have the reroll. Gonna need it. Well, same result twice in a row. We go down. That's unfortunate. Never hit a ghoul with a large carrot. Stunned himself. Awesome job! Alright. Mummy on the flank is an interesting choice. He's moving guys up on the right like he wants to head that way, but we've got a decent chance to go after the ball carrier here. Now that's a holding maneuver. So I'm. Around. 
Okay, Milo's getting trashed. Gonna have a lot of dodging to get away from opponents here. Okay, um, I don't like you being down here. But we'll try to cover you with Purvis a little bit. The white is also a threat. Um, they've also got a three agility. Okay, let's try to go for this. Okay, take you down. I am going to follow that up, just to stay on you. See what we can do to the white. Three dice. Okay, that'll work. And I will follow that up. hurt him or anything so yeah I mean we could dodge everybody out to try to get a hit on the ball carrier it's probably what I should do let's see if I can get you out of there and we'll double cover the ghoul deep and say so that should be a fairly safe thing we can dodge out here as well it should be fairly safe But I have so little movement left, I can't really get anywhere. So we just end up, like, covering him, I guess. Okay, I did have to use my dodge there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It moved. It's fine. Last time that happened, it took three days to piece the body back together. Okay. Got to move everybody around, so this is a bit risky. Let's come in there. Could just come in like this, the going for it. Odds are a little better that way. Especially if the ball yeah. goes down. Here I'm gonna have to make some dodge rolls though. <laughs> Failed my dodge there. That's too bad. I was gonna have to go for it one more anyway to try to throw a shot with the assists, but we do have two halflings on the ball carrier. try to do something crazy like if you wanted to score which is probably what he should be trying to do because it's the last turn of the half would be to move up and try to toss to the other ghoul down there but I don't know if even that ghoul could make it into the end zone here in the time that's left Let's hope just blocking with the ball carrier just gets a little push to the major. Mommy on the move Blitz. Just a push. Right, that's going to level Mr. Tomato Belly. Oh, okay, we've got injury. Just a badly hurt. We can live with that. Not going to use my apothecary on that. Single die block against Purvis. Unfortunately, comes out. So good. Injury on Pervins. Also a badly hurt. I just have to live with it. Okay. Um, so it's just my turn to do something. There's no real reason for me to do anything crazy. We might as well just try to punish people. So let's try to hurt your mummy again. 
Going to hit him again. I'm not sure we're going to do much. Okay, no damage, no injury. He's got regeneration anyway, so it's not super likely I could do much. Um, we might as well throw a shot at the white. But if I can get somebody else over there, we can get three dice on the white. So that's what I'm going to do. Don't even care about the ball carrier. We're going to receive the ball here after the half. Yeah, I definitely needed the third die there to take him out. Uh, sure, follow up. Treatment are doing a good job beating up the front line, taking on some of the tougher guys. I don't really see a point in doing anything else. I'm just going to run the risk of hurting anybody if we do anything. So I'm just going to end the turn, we'll end the half. We'll get the ball in the second half. Yeah, technically only one guy injured over there. I've got three. Okay, my knocked out guys keep coming back. It's nice. Let's see, I'm just kind of cycling through all my halflings. All right, so I am receiving the kick, so I do want Mr. Creepy Smile back. This team needs to remain calm and collected. What do we have over here on the sidelines? Carrot? Yeah, Carrot, we want you on the field. Because you just need one point, and you'll get a level up. So he's kicking, so this is actually the setup he went for. Um, it's not great for me. It's an odd formation. I don't want anybody important on the front line. I'd rather you also sit this one out. Got Sancho out here. Alright, Sancho... He's just going to surround and beat down my Treeman here, seems to be what the tactic is. I could put more Halflings on the front line to kind of help that. Um, we could go for a weird formation where we're out on the sides like this. I think I might do that, actually. We can try to punish the Whites that way. Avoid being next to the mummies. We've got a sacrificial lamb up front. Babo can be my sacrificial lamb. Okay, have... Well, let's put you up a little bit. The front line's going to completely disintegrate. We'll just try to hold the flanks. What do we got? Well, they can change their setup. And they do. So they put some guys on the front line. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Okay. Well. we'll start off then with just beating up zombies, I guess, with the tree men. Hoping for the best and going from there. The player's fist is approximately the same size as his entire opponent. Kind of walking into a bad position here with the assists. Uh, that's fine if you take roots. So have to live with it. I'm not wasting a reroll. Shoving them around, that's unfortunate. Okay. So we can get a one die hit if we want to risk it. Screw it, why not? Well, there's our reroll. 
And we both go down. <laughs> but you stunned the opponent and didn't get stunned yourself, so I call that a win. Just a push, nice. Good blitz there, so we could try to move, but usually the AI doesn't. Alright, Milo is getting destroyed. Fist went right through it. He doesn't have block, so he just went for a push there. Got really good rolls, but we're gonna hit again. Hey, nice. Babo's super lucky. Took two mummy attacks. Totally fine. Just shoved around a little bit. From there, just a push as well. Pushing me to the edge, though. Okay. I hate putting guys next to opponents, but we've got to deal with these fast enemies somehow. I don't really have a way we can shove anybody towards the tree, man. We'll try to dodge out of there if we get the opportunity. Carrot, come down. Throw a shot on the white. Let's see what I can do then. Unity is strength. All right, not a great result. Third roll, we do take him down. Sure, followed up, I guess. Okay, I do have a bit of an opening here. Let's see if we can level the zombie here on the edge. Nice. Uh, let's drop him right where he's at. Sometimes. Okay, we could try to grab the ball and then get it to Fosco and sort of head down the field. Everybody here is down. Ghoul's still pretty quick, though, if he gets back up. Uh, let's try to get the ball. Come back. I think even if I go for it twice, it's still going to be... No, actually, if I go for it twice, it'll be a short pass and I'll have a 50-50 chance. So let's see if I can make it by going for it. So much for that. If I threw it from further away, I would have had a... Would it be basically be a 5 or a 6 on a d6 is what I would need for a successful pass. So that's why I kind of went for that, trying to get a little closer. So then it would be a 3 or better, or 4 or better, sorry, on a d6 with a reroll with the pass skill. So that's why I wanted to get a bit closer. And we do get shoved off the field. Oh, he's good. Just a KO though, I can live with that, it's fine. Losing halflings at an astonishing rate. Nice. Did he not have any rerolls? Maybe he was out. No, he's got rerolls. Did he already use one that turn? It's possible. Um, all right, what are we going to do? Ball is not in a great spot because it's next to a mummy. That is definitely not ideal. It's going to make picking up the ball a lot harder. I've got nobody deep here. Since I've got a little opening here, we can get a one-die hit on him, possibly... Get a one die hit here if I move somebody up to assist. 
We could maybe even push you out. I don't think I have enough people. Um, all right, let's go for a shot here. Will the big one manage to lay out an opponent of this Trying to make some kind of an opening here. I really need to go for the ball with somebody. I don't have any skills for anybody that's going to make it easier. So no matter what I do, it's going to be kind of rough. I think we want to save the reroll for trying to get the ball. Let's go ahead and move up. Fosco, let's try to pick the ball up. Okay. Here's the reroll. 50% chance. Nope. Okay, but the, did move the ball into a safer spot. Although the mummies are going to eat those two halflings up front. Okay, just a push on the edge. But the best result I can get is just only being pushed around. That's also just going to be a push. He's going to follow it up, though, which is going to make picking up the ball hard again. That's also just a push. Could use the tree, man. No, I can't blitz because we're next to a zombie over there. Push. Yes, of course, I want you to dodge it when it asks. Sometimes it automatically does it, other times it asks. Okay. There's no way I can deal with the zombie and then also get a hit off here. Maybe I, you know, I had a chance to take Dauntless with one of my halflings at one point. Maybe I should have done that. Creepy smile. Oh, that's a really bad spot to be. Okay, if things go wrong, let's at least do something here. More the merrier. Let's just try to take this zombie out. Big guy, trample. Okay, we're gonna knock out. Takes him off the field. All right, you've got a five strength. There's nothing I can really do. There's not aren't enough halflings I can use to really do this. We've got to just try to get the ball. need to get away and we can try to move somebody down the field potentially um Sancho I wouldn't mind covering you this guy doesn't have dodge but he does okay apparently I can't do anything without having turnovers anymore Dice are conspiring against me. Just a push, good, 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 good. I can stay on my feet, we've got a chance here. It's also just a push. It's actually gonna try to pick it up with a zombie? What are you nuts? 
Well, I guess the 50%, which is what I've been getting too, because of the uh, dice roll. He actually gets it. Look at that. Oh, oh hello. Badly hurt. All right. Just a push. Okay. All right, the zombie is pretty slow. If I knock it free, somebody better might get it, but um, I feel like we gotta try to do something against the ball carrier. But we can do safe things first, and I mean, I think if we're gonna do anything, we're gonna dodge you out so we can maybe go for a hit on him. Then dodge you two out to come and get the hit. Oh, we could also dodge you out to get the hit. Because we don't want you next to the mummy anyway. I can't really help that much with my tree man other than just smacking this random zombie around, so that's what I'll do. Fine, take root. Whatever, I'm not wasting a reroll now. Just a shove. Disappointing. Very disappointing. Okay. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. How are we failing every single dodge roll? Unmistakable sign of a player's eyes rolling up into his head. Absolutely ridiculous. Every try I try to do anything important, we're failing the rolls, even with re-rolls. So that was basically 67% chance to make the dodge roll with a re-roll, and I failed it. Two times in a row. And I'm getting beaten up in the process here. That's going to be another guy getting smacked. Another injury as well. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to use the Apothecary for the Broken Neck. So we can have a broken neck, or we can be dead. Um, okay, I guess we'll take the broken neck. So he's now kind of useless. And he's more of a defensive player, so I guess he's not totally useless. Fosco gets an armor point reduction. It's just less tough. I don't think he has any skills yet, so we could potentially just get rid of him. Zombie ball carriers on the move. My tree men can't move. I don't have that many hobbits and halflings left out here. Okay, just a push. I mean, best case scenario, I get a one die block on the ball carrier, and now I can't even do that, I think. I don't even have enough hobbits or halflings left. Oh, Lotho is dead. All right, we're getting absolutely trashed here now that we've progressed a little bit. Um, so it will take you, unless you go for it twice, a couple turns to get down there. I can only reach him with one halfling. That's it. You're just going to stand up. Actually, I should have gone for the shot first, because it's not even going to give me the three dice. It's still only two there. Okay. Managed to get away. Going to get in the way of the ball carrier. That's about all I can really do. Take a shot at the mummy. I've got block and he doesn't, so I have a little bit of an advantage. Works out. And just try to get out of here. 
Did have to use my dodge there. Okay, there's a reroll to try to get out of there. Use the reroll, so it's a little risky. And we failed the going for roll to get next to the ball carrier. And he stunned himself. Wish my guys were a little bit faster. Like a six movement would make a huge difference over the five. So we'll see who's gonna blitz to clear the ball carrier here. Nobody yet, which is interesting. He might just throw a shot with the ball carrier. Nope, gonna blitz the white. Three dice, takes me down. Holy crap! It's another death! Pretty rough game for me here, jeez. It's going okay. Now it's turned into just halfling murder. Well, I don't really have anything I can do. The only halfling, or the only person I have that can move, is nowhere near the ball. So we'll definitely be able to score. And then I'll only have one turn, so I'll end up going to overtime. So, uh, let's just do some hitting. Wait, we got an injury on the, uh, mummy. Probably gonna regenerate though. Yeah, regenerated. That's too bad. So he's only out for basically this. This turn until he scores, and that's it. So it didn't really help us much in the long run if we go to overtime or anything. So we've got Carrot left. Multiple dead, tons of injured. Jeez, that is rough. It's amazing that I'm ahead, but it is going to be tied up here in just a second, and there's literally nothing I can do about it. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really see a point in doing anything. Just going to get away, keep him safe. goes for a foul or if he's just going to score. It started off fairly well and just completely fell apart after that. Zombie score! This knocked out guy stays knocked out. We've got just an absolute carnage. My knocked out guys get up. That might not be the best choice. Going out on the field now, you're just going to get beaten up, outnumbered, and surrounded. So I am receiving the kick. My quarterback is still alive. I literally only have one turn, so there's no way that I can actually score. I have to have somebody on the front line. Uh, Frodo. <laughs> Good luck, little buddy. I mean, I can move the ball, but I can't really do much. 
Maybe I can hurt somebody. That's about it. Yeah, if I'm lucky, I can hurt a white or something, but that's about all. The ghouls don't have regeneration, so they would be nice to go after if I can. Can I reach the ghouls? Kind of? I'd have to go for it. Um, we could get enough people on the back ghoul to get a hit if I wanted to do that. If I can make my rolls anyway. Now's the time. One of the teams got a play hidden off their collective sleeves, so they need to action it before time runs out. Play it safe. Going for it is just a one on six. It's a little safer than dodging through tackle zones. Okay. Uh, sure. Adelard, I guess you can be my blitzer. I'm going to go for it like crazy here. Just get a shove. That kind of figures. The enemy is going to have a turn to beat me up a little bit. We won't be able to score. Come out here to give me... Is that going to make a difference? No, it's not. Still just two dice. A little risky because he's got block and I don't, whereas here I have block as well. Better than hitting someone smaller than you, Jim. Might as well take the attempt. Maybe I can do some permanent damage to somebody, take them out for the overtime. Could just go for a zombie here rather than the white. Try for the white. It's fine. You took root. Not a big deal. Just do some damage, please. Okay. We're going to take him down. Pretty mighty smack there. No damage. Get away. Let's try to grab the ball, because why not? And maybe I'll just run away. <laughs> There isn't much point in to be doing anything else. Uh, I mean, we could go for a little toss over here, I suppose, but that's pretty risky as well. He's just going to get hammered. No matter what I do, I'm going to get hammered. Let me see if I can get over there. Okay. Try to just protect from the inside. Alright, we take some abuse for a turn and then it'll end regular play. Pretty sure we automatically go to overtime. It's only if we have another eight turns of nothing that we have a tie game. But I'm running out of players. Put pressure on the ball. Can't argue with that. Get next to the ball carrier so you can block. Okay, just a push. If that doesn't work, stab him in the face. Made the match. 
Well, I guess we only go to overtime um, if it's a playoff game or final. I thought it was always that we did that, but uh, okay, sure. Um, I don't even get a chance to reroll here, which is interesting. We got some decent money. Fame is increased. Fan factor dropped a little bit. That's unfortunate. Yes, yeah, so we got a tie there, uh, which is actually not bad, kind of the way things were going for us. We took it just a massive amount of damage there. It's absolutely crazy. So, uh, let's see. Pretty low ball possession. 31 blocks, 2 KOs, 1 injury inflicted. We only had 18 yards running, no passing. That's pretty crazy. 39 successful blocks, 3 KOs, 8 injuries, 2 kills. That is crazy. We just fed a ton of star player points to the undead there. That's unfortunate. Just for damage and stuff. We got uh, MVP and an injury and one touchdown, and that's it. My dice rolls goofy. Not too bad. I think the, the average, so the majority should be three, four, and fives. So not a terrible spread. We just didn't you know, do that well. How do we have a regeneration roll? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong. I'm looking at the wrong team. Uh, we actually, well, it was pretty even across the board. Pretty heavy on fives and sixes and ones, actually, which is interesting. So leaderboard, we're still in first place. So we're now at four wins, one tie. Skaven, three, one, and one in second place. Then what is that? A three team tie for third place. Norse, Norse. I didn't realize we had two Norse teams. That's, we've got... So it's not really, we basically have two dwarf teams, dwarfs and chaos dwarf. We basically have two undead teams, undead necromantic. Uh, I'm not sure about underworld denizens, what exactly is in that. We've got two Norse teams, interesting. Um, yeah, and then we've got the undead at 2, 1, and 2. Underworld denizens, Kislev Circus at 1, 2, and 2. Dwarves, 1, 1, and 3. Chaos dwarves, absolutely wrecked. Um, yeah, we're going to have to do something about my team here. We do have one person leveling up. There's a bunch of people missing all of a sudden. Oh, nice. My other tree man got a level. A double would be awesome. Yeah, not going to happen. So, uh, guard, I think, is the way to go here. So one of them with guard, one with block. That's going to help quite a bit. And Harry Twinkle Toes. We got doubles, so we can pick anything we want. Honestly, I feel like block is probably my best choice. We already have dodge. Having block and dodge makes us a lot more resilient. Um, and I feel like we kind of need that resiliency. So I am going to go ahead and just take block as a priority. And we can use... I mean, he could be a ball carrier, or we can put him on the front line. As a ball carrier, he's harder to take down with block and dodge. As a frontliner, just kind of helping out because he has block. We've got two people died, so we want to replace both of them. Ex Mrs. Jim, but that don't mean I misses her. She took everything. So we have another Sancho. My Let's not gunplate. take that. Cow. Uh, face is fine, I think. So we have a Frodo. I don't know if we have a Bilbo. Let's take a Bilbo. Then we don't have a Sam. We'll take a Sam. <laughs> Bunko broccoli. Um, who looks like Sam? Nobody looks like Sam. I mean, I guess that's the closest we're gonna get. Okay, is there anybody who got hurt that I want to get rid of? Um, Cotton, he takes more damage when he gets hurt. So it's a double thing with the injury that he's got plus stunty. So essentially it's a plus two to all injury rolls. But he does have sure feet, which is pretty helpful at the moment. Uh, Sancho up here lost a point of agility, but you're mainly a defensive player. So eh, that's a pretty big deal. Losing a point of armor... Also not great. Did you know a family member of Do you have he does have three star player points. Players have to be careful though. 
and the highest prices are for limbs and other body parts. And the more obsessed collectors are I don't know that I want to keep Fosco. For the target player to perish before harvesting them. He's much more likely to take damage with the lower armor value. So I feel like even if he does get a skill, he's just going to end up constantly getting destroyed and hurt and just not really being an effective player. I'll hold on to him for now, I think. Yeah, we'll hold on to him for now, and I'll think about it. Um, we do have a decent amount of cash as well sitting around. But anything I spend is going to increase my team value. And what are we looking at? We're at 1220. Actually, we're tied, so we got the uh, Skaven next. So it'll actually be an even match in the next one um, from a team perspective. Kind of curious. Okay, he does have a Rat Ogre. Yeah, it'll be an interesting matchup, I think. Um, I guess... So my one guy lost a point of agility. I'd rather that than losing a, another point of strength. So we can kind of live with that as a defensive player. Sort of okay. I wish I could have more apothecaries. Uh, yeah, I mean, putting more money into team rerolls is probably really all I could do later on down the road. And we could eventually up our cheerleaders. And coach's assistance going to help with the kickoff results. The guard is going to help. Uh, having another blocker is a little helpful, Did but you, yeah, the further this the goes along, I think the harder it's going to be to run halflings. Same with goblins, but you know, it's always fun. Um, I do also, the viewers, I want to play my He's gory gores so who were a team that I had in the first Blood Bowl. I made these guys exactly the same to start with. Just chaos because the mutations are modeled, I think will be kind of fun to play around with. But yeah, um, we'll come back next time and play against the Skaven. So this has been more Blood Bowl 2. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, have a good one.